Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to delve into. Specifically we'll be discussing the Twin Engine Deck Based Fighter, or TED BF. So, let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the Twin Engine Deck Based Fighter Project. This project is designed to bolster the Indian Navy's capabilities and replace the aging fleet of Russian-supplied MiG-29K aircraft. It's a vital initiative for India's defense preparedness. The TED-BF designed to be a more capable and modern aircraft compared to the aging MiG-29K, which has faced various technical issues and limitations. As a more modern aircraft, the TED-BF is likely to incorporate advanced avionics, sensors and weapon systems, making it more capable in combat scenarios. The twin engines will allow for shorter takeoffs from aircraft carriers. It will also feature foldable wings for more efficient storage on carriers, and these features are very important for carrier-based operations. Now, what's truly exciting is the development of a cutting-edge jet engine for TED-BF. India is not doing this alone, there's a fascinating collaboration with Safran. The Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, has joined forces with Safran, a French aerospace company, to create this engine. It's a massive leap forward in India's quest for self-reliance in defense production. Working together is a great choice for India because it helps determine the commitment to high-tech projects. DRDO's gas turbine research establishment, GTRE, has made significant progress, especially in areas such as single crystal blades, where the French giant Safran will play an immense role which includes the core material, computational fluid dynamics, and heat management, etc. An interesting aspect is the engine's compatibility with the existing F-414 engines, which will be used in various aircraft, including the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft and Tejas Mark II. This compatibility ensures a smoother transition to the new engine, reducing design complexities. So, what's the timeline for TED-BF? Interestingly, India has announced a significant agreement between the American multinational corporation, General Electric, and India's state-owned HAL earlier this year. The deal involves the transfer of critical jet engine technologies and the manufacturing of GE's F-414 engine for India's indigenous fighter jets. The initial phase involves building prototypes with the American GE F-414 engine. As the project progresses, it's expected to receive clearance for the new engine around mid-2024, with a prototype rollout tentatively scheduled for 2027. The TED-BF program is of immense strategic significance for the Indian Navy. It's all about making the Navy stronger and better prepared for defense. With an expected total order book of approximately 100 units by 2040. Finally, there's the Special Purpose Vehicle, SPV model. The Ministry of Defense plans to execute the TED-BF project through this model involving a new aerospace company with a majority stake held by private sector consortiums. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh visited Safran's facility in France and emphasized the advantages of co-development and co-production in India, including the potential for exporting to third countries. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited France, India and France signed an agreement to co-develop a high-thrust jet engine for India's advanced medium combat aircraft. This is a game-changing move towards self-reliance. Not just France, India is actively collaborating with other nations too. During his visit to Italy, Rajnath Singh stressed the need for collaboration between Indian and Italian defense industries, highlighting the win-win opportunities. So in a nutshell, India is making remarkable progress in defense manufacturing. The TAD-BF project and the Safran collaboration, along with agreements for high-thrust jet engines, signify India's determination to become self-reliant in defense production. It's an exceeding journey that we'll be keeping a close eye on. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.